Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Friday, March 12th, 2021. We're going to start with our morning work. I'm going to turn to this page. Remember, first, we're going to write uppercase letters. So you're going to make sure you trace some. Write the missing uppercase letter. Then do the lowercase letters. You go down here, and you're going to write the beginning sound for each picture. Leaf, jam, elephant, kangaroo. Write the lowercase letter in each. All right, now we're going to do words that rhyme. They are also word families. So, yum, yum, yam. This number in the equation is the sum. This person has their mouth closing, but we can hear music or see music notes, so they are hum. It's a hum. And gum. I can hum as I do a sum. So you have to add that. Write your name. I'm gonna practice will, W, I, L, L, will. Every time you write it, you should say it just like that. W, I, L, L, will. Continue doing that. You all know how to do all of that work. When you're finished with this, you're gonna put it away and you're gonna get out your, not that. It's gonna be your E. Oh no, that's right. I'm so sorry. What is this page? So we've been working on long A and short A this week. So if it is a long A, it says its name. If it's a short A, it says ah. So I'm going to just start with one. I'm going to color my long A red. A. It has to say A. If it says A, I'm going to color it red. Cake. Cake does have A in it. And if I'm not sure, I can say k a k. It does have it, so I'm going to color it in. Okay. The next one is bat. B at. Didn't hear A in that one. I heard ah. Okay, the next one is cat. Cat. K -a -t. I don't hear it in that one either, so I'm not going to color it red. The next one is rain. R A N. I did hear it in that one, so I'm going to color it. Color the edges first. A little slower on the edges. Okay, I'm going to tell you the rest of the words. We're not going to do all of these together. Hat, map, whale, man, mail, can, tape, cap, frame, fan, pay. So once I've colored all the long A words, I'm going to get another color, any color I choose that is different than red and color my short A. And I'm gonna go back and as I go through the ones that are not colored, I'm gonna say them again and make sure that they do say that A ah sound before I color them. Okay, we're gonna move on to math. You'll get this from behind your blue tab. First thing I do is always the same. I pick up my pencil and write my name. Oh, you know what? I'm so sorry. We did not do the back of this. So I'm gonna start on this side. And we're doing word families. Of course, I'm going to write my name. Okay. Fin. These are word families, so they're going to have the same ending. That's a pin. So I could finger spell it. P. I. N. So this girl is, it's a win. So you're crossing the finish line. Ooh, win. Ooh. I, n. And we're going to do that for the other ones. So nest, vest, west. See that pointing to west? 
lip, rip, zip, shell, bell, well. So you're going to do the word family. So you're always going to look for those last two letters and you can, or last three letters in that case. And you can finger spell those words just like we just did together. But we already know they'll end the same. So if ours don't end the same, you need to go back and look there. Now we'll turn to the blue tab and we'll get out our numbers. Okay, so now we're gonna write the number 61 through 80. I'm gonna take my time and make sure that I form my letters properly on the line up here. I wanna write my name very neatly. And before I do any cutting, I'm gonna go in and write the missing number. So 61, 62, six, oh, I do wanna trace them, 63, 64. Now when I write my four, I wanna go down across, pick up my pencil, down once more. So after 64 is 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Okay, now I'm gonna take my scissors. I'm gonna cut this all the way off. I'm gonna cut around each letter and cut it and I'm gonna paste it on top of the same number. Let me pause now to finish this. We're gonna turn to the orange paint, orange tab and we're gonna get out this heavy or light, blown by the wind or not blown by the wind. I'm gonna write my name. Okay, now if you don't have one of these items, you can just mark it out, um, but most of these are everyday items that you might find around your house. You may need to wait till you get home if you're at a center. You may need your parents' help and you still may not have all of these items at home and that is okay but we can't do this at school, so you have to do this one at home. So if you have a tissue, if you don't have a tissue, get a slice of toilet paper. So if I got a piece of tissue, I know that it would be blown by the wind. And so I would go right here to blown by the wind. And I'm going to put, oh, I'm sorry. I was looking over there. A smiley face. Okay. And then I'm gonna get some styrofoam of any kind and we'll try it. And if it does get blown by the wind, we can say smiley face. And if not, a sad face. A cotton ball, a toothpick, a penny, a straw, a feather, and a button. So you, whatever items you have. So let's pretend I don't have toothpicks at my house. I could just mark that one out and I don't have to do anything in that row. And if I also don't have a button, I can do that as well. I think this one you probably might not have at your house unless you have it in a craft box. All right, when you're done with that, make sure that you have done 10 minutes on iReady and read at least one book on Raz Kids and taken the quiz. Have a great weekend. See you on Monday.